and welcome to the Masters World Strongest Man Championships 2013. I'm Matt Bell. And I'm Nick Aldis. And this event sees reigning champ Derek Boyer try to retain that title for another year in the ultimate battle of the brawn for over 40s. But with bona fide legends of the sport from all corners of the globe, it's shaping up to be an incredible contest here in Belfast. Before we get stuck into the event, let's meet our athletes. Chad Coy, 44, Kokomo, Indiana, United States. You know, this last year to improve, I've just been really working on my power, my endurance, you know, conditioning, um, and just focusing on the events. Simon Flynn, 41, Nottingham, England. Everybody that's in it, they've all proven themselves in the past, so everyone can win it. It's just what happens on the day, really. Derek Boyer, I represent Australia, and my age is 44 years young. The, uh, the expectations for this competition are very high for me, and uh, I, I think I'm relatively well prepared for this, uh, this, this competition. My name is Antanas Abrutis from Lithuania, Mazaiki, 4040. Lithuania number one. And France, 40 years old, Lancaster, England. Yeah, absolutely. It's great coming in today, being uh, one of the younger guys for a change. My name is Odd Haugen. I'm from Norway. I'm 63 years old. Hopefully, if the car hold will be without straps, that will be my favorite event. But if it's with straps, it's my least favorite event. My name is Kevin Murray. I'm 43 years of age, Ireland, County Tipperary. Um, I'm just a little guy, so I'm going to have fun just trying to compete near their level. Hi, my name is Etienne Nelson, and I'm from South Africa, and my age is uh, 46. I'm just going to do my best. Uh, it's the first time I meet uh, all those big names, so I'm really fortunate to, to meet them. And I'm just going to go and have some fun and, and uh, some experience. Mike Saunders, 43, Actonvale, Canada. The reason why I entered Strongman is because I'd like to prove to myself that I can be the strongest man in the world over 40 years old. My name is Gregor Pexa. It's in country Poland. 44 years. This year, the competition is moi, moi. You understand? It's time for our first event here at the Masters World Strongest Man Championships 2013. And they probably can't fit in them, but they sure can flip them. It's the car flip. This competition is all about genuine titans of the sport. And what better man to be the referee and to explain this next event than four times World's Strongest Man, Magnus Ver Magnussen. Take it away. Basically, you run into the car, flip it over and then run around it, flip it over again and run to the line. This is all about strength and speed. It's going to be a good one. It's the car flip. So the athletes in position ahead of this first event of the Masters World Strongest Man. And there is the reigning defending champion, Derek Boyer, the Island yeah! Warrior. And they just get a glimpse of that golden grill of the six foot three athlete from the Gold Coast in Australia. Here's a man making his first appearance in the Masters World's Strongest Man, Etienne Nelson from South Africa, resident in the Republic of Ireland. And it's a mad dash to the car where Boyer gets in position first. Powers it over for the first revolution. Just lost a bit of momentum. And Etienne Nelson looking perplexed at the reinforced vehicle that needs to be rolled over in an effort to complete this course. Boyer going really well, pushes it in position and then dashes for the finish line. Impressive marker laid down and I feel sorry for that advertising hoarding that just took a forceful kick from the foot of the reigning champ. Etienne Nelson in stark contrast, failing to complete the course. Yeah. Derek, great start. Start as you mean to go on? Not really. It's not the start I was looking for. Uh, it's important to get off, you know, to a big win first up. Uh, change of event. Uh, Came unprepared, so uh, it's going to cost me. Etienne, I've yeah. heard of in at the deep end, but head to head with the defending <laughs> champ in your very first yeah, event, is, first time here, daunting. Very deep end, first time I will ever do that, and so I'll just try my best. But next time, we can do. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So 25.59 seconds is the marker laid down by Australia's Derek Boyer, and that's what Kevin Murray, the Glenarist Giants, will be trying to overhaul. His opponent. The Lionheart, Chad Coy from Indiana in the USA. America's strongest man for the Masters in 2013. Just a little bit eager to get off the mark. 
has to regroup. And now the burst off the line and he gets to the car with terrific speed to begin the roll. A roar of aggression. Gets that car moving, overcoming inertia and using momentum in his favour. Kevin Murray just a little bit behind, roaring with every exertion. Chad Coy already well into the second revolution. And now the sprint to the line. That is a blistering time, 22.41 seconds. He takes the lead. Now he turns his attention to encouraging Kevin Murray. Struggling just a little bit, but now has momentum working for him. Pushes it into position. Oh, now punches the car instead of finishing the course, and that's going to cost him valuable time. Finally gets himself over the finish line, but Kevin Murray's mind just went wandering a little bit because he took his aggression out on the car rather than finishing the course. Chad and Kevin fresh from flipping cars there. Chad, great time. Thank you. How'd you feel it went? Uh, made a few errors, but I haven't flipped the car in 10 years. So. What's going through your mind as you're literally rolling cars over? Uh, don't let it roll back on you. That's got to be a don't big worry, smashed. right? Yeah. Kevin, I've never seen a man more angry at a car. It looks like you really took your vengeance out on that and then forgot to cross the line. Yeah, I've never done that before. It's my first time doing this event. So I was very nervous going into it. Well, you know what? You've got it all the way over and then all the way over again. So fair play to you. Thanks. Well done, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. So just psyching himself up, ahead of the car roll is Gregor Peska, the Polish representative. And in a nation where strongman ranks really high in the list of sporting activities, this man is a two-time national masters champion in 2010 and 2011. This is Antanas Abrutis, 44 years of age, from Lithuania. Both of these athletes trying to overhaul the mark laid down by Chad Coy of a blistering 22.41 seconds. A Brutus has started great guns, already has completed the first revolution. Just a little way behind is Pesta. But a Brutus already up and has the car rolling on the second revolution, springs to the line, and that's beaten the time of Chad Coy, 20.72 seconds. Pesca, a little further behind, just under 25, but what a display by the man from Lithuania. So, I mean, so the car flip, are you happy with your performance? Yes, okay. Very good. What's, how important is the angle of rotation of the car? I mean, obviously, if it starts to go off one way in the car park, that could be dangerous, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know, it's good. And how heavy is that? Yeah. It's good. Look, technical problem. Yeah. Uh, it's, the time is good. Did they take the handbrake off for that? Mm. Telly and Lightning, okay. guys, sterling performance. Uh, there might be a little bit of uh, lost in translation. Oh. <laughs> so the Canadian champion, Mike Saunders, competing outside of North America for the first time. His opponent is England's Ben France, 40 years of age, health and fitness coordinator from Lancaster City Council. So the dash to the car, each of these athletes trying to overturn the time laid down by Antanas Abrutis, 20.72 seconds. This already appears as though it will be slower. And they're almost neck and neck as they complete that first revolution. Back to the same task for the second effort. Saunders stealing a march on Ben France now. Ben France just 112 kilos. Perhaps that lack of body weight counting against him. 25.18 seconds for Mike Saunders. And France really wrestling with that car, finally gets the second revolution completed. And that was hard work for the man from Lancaster. His first appearance at World's Strongest Man in the Masters division. But just how do you prepare for the car flip event? Mike, 25 and change, happy with that time? Yeah, first time doing the event. So, uh... You're up there in the, with the big boys, up there yeah. in the rarefied air? Very excited. Ben, it's also your first time here. Yeah. I mean, it was a struggle till the very end, but you pushed through. How'd you yeah, feel? Yeah, first time flipping a car, so just happy to get it finished. That was exciting stuff. Great stuff, guys. Thanks. Thank you very much. 63-year-old Odd Haugen from Norway completed the car flip in 42.85 seconds, but Simon Flint tore his quad muscle trying to lift the car and has now, unfortunately, had to retire from the competition. 
So after one completed event, it is Lithuania's Antanas Abrutis who is in first place after that storming time of 20.72 seconds in the car roll. Chad Coy must have thought that he had done enough to take first place before being bettered by the Lithuanian. But then at the bottom of the leaderboard, we see the retirement due to injury of Simon Flint, Etienne Nelson failing to complete a single revolution. So zero points for the South African.